Hey everybody, it's me Anika Tony. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to stick around, get to know me. Maybe subscribe if you like. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. Missed you guys. Okay, so today, today we will be apartment hunting. So anybody who know me knows say like I wanna move out. Been wanna move out, right? Even like college moving day, all of that. I've been watching college moving vlogs since I was 13 years old. Okay, and then I went to college, moving, COVID, moving again, had to move out, went back to my house in Portmore, and it's like mm, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with Portmore. Portmore is perfectly fine. Love, love it there. Yeah, but I went to school in Kingston, I work in Kingston, everywhere I go is in Kingston. So it just made sense for me to go live in Kingston. So we're gonna look for apartments. Marching like Bob Saget, greedy, I can't pass it. Eating everything, nigga, no fasting. I don't care how much you do, me in the past tense. I ain't no drunk, this style, this ain't no last dance. Way past it, way. Fucking on my ex, cause he validate me. Fucking up a check, I don't wanna receive. Why ain't get possessed, let my face speak freely. Okay, so as you guys saw, first up was a studio in Mona. No, I had worked in Mona before, like for three months. And I like the area, it was cool, it was nice. This place was $70,000, right? Mind you, my pay was 90 grand. <laughs> my pay was $90,000, but I sound so delusional. But it was $70,000, came furnished, came with water, so all I had to pay for was, or it came with Wi Fi? Came with Wi-Fi, so I had to pay for light and water and all of that. Looking at it, I don't know. I'm not really a studio person. I don't know why. Ma, as I said, I am delusional. I wanted a two-bedroom. Why did I want a two-bedroom? I can't afford a two-bedroom or like a one-bedroom something. It's giving Birkin taste and bag juice pocket. Caviar taste, bag juice pocket, whatever people say. It was cute. The bathroom was a nice size. It came with a bed. It came with the dining table, the whole thing but i don't know mona was kind of too far and i already lived in yui so i didn't want to go back to that side literally when i googled it when i googled the road that the place was on the first thing i see like a man got robbed or something so maybe not and i wasn't sure if i'd have a car for the whole time i'm living there just in case i don't drive or i'm gonna call a taxi and i'm gonna go out and take like a regular taxi or take the bus i'm gonna know yeah, and generally I wanted to live in the Kingston 6, 8 or 10 area anyways because it's the most corporate, that's where everything is and I worked closest to there. Yeah, so other than that, I didn't I didn't think it was the safest place to be. Like Mona is generally safe, but for somebody walking, I don't know, let's say I want to walk at night, why would I want to do that? Plus, it wasn't like a studio apartment, it was like a part of a house. That I have to walk upstairs and go in one of the room them. I don't know, that never sit right with me because it's just a huge house. Probably six units, can call it units, so like a room, a room, a room, a room, a room, a room. And I'm never one bit that close to people. You know, like we neighbors, but I don't want it to be we neighbors. You understand what I'm saying? So apartment number two was an actual two bedroom apartment in Waterloo. It was perfect. It was like literally perfect. 
it had palm trees it had a park it had a wash a washroom area like for washers and dryers washers and dryers that everybody who lived at the apartment could use it was two parking spaces to each apartment but that no matter because it was a less than 15 minute walk to my apartment not to my apartment it was a less than 15 minute walk to my workplace and i knew somebody that lived further and they used to walk to work so i could have walked with them you know like, i was so geeked for this apartment i mean i didn't love the floors some of the stuff were kind of older, but that's okay. It was $80,000. Mind it again. <laughs> My pay was 90 k but it was a two-bedroom, so I just needed a roommate, right? I went there. I met with the real estate agent. His name is Philip. I don't want to say big of Philip because I didn't get the apartment. I loved, loved, loved it. It was fully gated, like automatic gate. You need a key for open that. Like, I just, I just, I don't know. I just loved it it was perfect it had palm trees people palm trees okay i'm afraid but yeah as soon as i went to work because i literally went lunchtime so as soon as i went back to work i applied for that right away i did not have a roommate so i needed to get somebody i found somebody same time yeah we sent in our paper i sent in my license i sent in everything i signed the renters board something 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 sent that in Followed up with a real estate agent like crazy and I didn't get it. I did not get it. I was devastated. Pain. All I know is pain. Like I went in the car at work to cry. I bawled my eyes out. My as a real estate agent, I was like, Philip, you can't give me the lady number because I need to talk to her. I need to tell her that hey lady, whoever owned the house, lady, Marjorie, I don't know what your name, but lady. I work very close to here. Can you just please give me a place? Can you just please? Can you just please give me a place? Actually, the place was 90k and then plus utilities. So definitely out of my tax bracket, but I needed it. Like I was thinking about the furniture to put in there. The lighting was great. If you look out the window, it was a ranch with horses, people. Okay? It was perfect. It was perfect. And I never get it. So I'm going to the car. Go bye. I tell my mother, say, I never get it. Although my parents didn't even know that I was looking for an apartment. I always tell them to make a move out. So they should have known. I call my mother, I'm a ball. I have a boyfriend, right? I call my man. I called my boyfriend and I said, I didn't get it. And you know what the boy tell me? He said, that's okay. You can get another one. It doesn't make sense yet. Upset about it. And he's like, excuse me? Do you want to fight? Because you're supposed to say, let me go up there and tell them a thing or two, you know, let me go up there and threaten them to get this apartment. But he did not do that. And that's okay because everything happens for a reason. I wanted the apartment so, so bad. And it's safe to say, I didn't get it. And this is a nice quiet area. guys don't judge me but apartment number three them time i'm desperate like i was so depressed from not getting apartment number two that i was like no i need to move i cannot believe this is happening to me so i decided to look for somewhere in the area so i looked in drum and if you don't know what drum is that's basically waterloo but 
back a little bit I didn't even know that the place was like that when I got to this place I had to drive up a hill and through bush and I thought I was in country and I was literally in St. Andrew like Mega Mart was a three minute five minute drive away that's how close I was to civilization but they feel like me in a country I'm gonna take a turn I'm gonna take a turn on the road you bad and tree da, da, da. but this is the worst part of it it's like the back of a lady's house right and there's nothing wrong with that you know but i can't leave my house that i live in very comfortably with my own room and my bathroom and all of that to go somewhere with like everything they just up. like i'm gonna sit down if i sat on the bed i would have turned and that's the stove right there and i cannot do that like i'm not i don't have anything against studio apartments but that place was just too tiny and the bathroom wasn't it and outside was I don't know it was giving country and plus it is far and if i didn't drive no buses came around there it's very quiet which is a blessing and a curse like nobody really knows around there so that's safe but also i don't know it just it just seemed too far from civilization which is what i was trying to get out of i'm trying to live corporate areas you know but the lady that was there she's so sweet she was like the nicest person i think she's from cuba or Dominican Republic and she was leaving the next day and she was so happy to show me and she told me about her daughter she was really cute but I couldn't do it plus it was $50,000 like if it was a $25,000 $30,000 I could have think about it right I maybe recommend somebody but $50,000 utilities not included it's not giving it came with a TV <coughs> It came with a big back TV. I mean, I can't laugh because I don't have a TV. But no, no. Them time they're clicking my head. No, girl. It cannot be this desperate. So, I just took a break. I just took a break from looking at houses. Every time I used to go on those websites to look up houses, I would just get so depressed because why are they so expensive? losing my mind because if I ever decided to live in apartment number three that would be losing my mind that was July when I looked at apartment number three and I took a break I quit my job I quit my job and then I decided to go look at another apartment the next week like I quit my job the Wednesday and then next week Tuesday I'm looking at this apartment but I could not not look at this place it's in constant spring very central very close to another place i was looking to work very close to like very close to everything it's constant spring like come on it was eighty thousand dollars two bedroom gated community like very 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 nice place i went in there's a washroom that everybody can use i think you had to like pay for a token or something but it wasn't a lot of money designated parking french doors was it one bathroom i think it was one bathroom two bedrooms great lighting backyard everything the place just look nice i could not pass it up them time here i have a prospective roommate in my head so she was for it i was for it i went there i asked all the questions the real estate agent loved me like she was telling me what i need to do i need to write up my i need to put in my offer today i need to blah, blah, blah. she was answering all my questions and i had a lot of questions like i answer questions that didn't even relate to me i asked her if we can have pets I wasn't planning on having no pets but she was just so sweet i signed up for that right away yes i never have no work yes the work that i had was only paying me 90 and this apartment was 80 but hello can i pass <laughs> i felt so stupid cannot pass up this offer so my right is up i said girl send your send your driver's license i send a paper right now you need to sign it them time you know, the girl if i work and travel i say hello girl you need to take lunch and do this right now right now i did all of that sent it in 
couple days later did not get it i prayed you know, i pray i'm a prayer i'm a prayer i'm a prayer and we didn't get it but honestly that's okay i was so hurt by the fact that i didn't get the other apartment that's i realized i need to stop idolizing these things so when i didn't get this other one it was fine but the only issue i had is the owner said that we were too immature too immature lady i mean i get it still because the girl never have an actual job she was just on work and travel and i just left my job but i never tell them some left the job you know but i sent them the paychecks and yeah they're saying basically we never rented anywhere before so we can't get the place blah 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 so okay starting here it's a nice peaceful neighborhood i walked upstairs and Grill auntie coming to this. Yeah, it's newly renovated. Oh, sorry, but I used to nice things. Ooh, watch water. Okay. He's waiting on me downstairs, so I'm not going to take long to do all of this. I can smell that it was recently painted too. First room. Wow, okay. I realized that it stopped filming, but yeah, from that room back in here, it's another bathroom right here, smaller than the other one. Don't love the tub. Another room, um, storage up there, closet. I'm rushing now because I filmed and like it stopped filming, I didn't realize. There's a big whole storage area like huge um other room closet so room storage room bathroom living dining all of that yeah the room seems to be basically all the same size except for this one with the bathroom in there but yeah it looks like they would want us to use an electric stove looks good though like you can tell a lot of things are newly renovated so what was it it was like literally a couple days later i stumbled on this other apartment it was a three bedroom in barbican one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. right i'm thinking three bedroom i need to get somebody else so there was this girl that was like hey do you still want to move because i want to move out da, 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 da. and i was like well i already found another roommate so i can't really drop her for you but i'm gonna find this three bedroom and i was like this is perfect because this girl said she won't move out and this girl i move out so we could just go together like nothing new for me because i lived on dorm twice before so it's like okay i call up the people they're like oh they're gonna finish the showing today and if i can come and last minute i just got up and i went to the place from port to kingston i went to the place i looked loved it the color scheme white and gray that's literally perfection barbican great location it was close to the supermarket it close to it's literally close to everywhere so even if i took a bus a taxi i drove it was close to everything could i walk to the supermarkets could i walk here could i walk there i spoke to the landlord and the landlord was actually the kind of the owner of the place so it was good talking to him three bedrooms two bathroom a balcony a driveway uh like the place was nice the place was nice spoke to him uh put in our offer all of that and yeah there were other places that i looked at like i didn't go to them i had friends that sent me like i contacted the landlords and the real estate people choosing not to include those into the video because uh, i don't know it would be a long video yeah guys so that was my apartment hunting journey comment down below the apartment that you think that i chose let me know if you guys want to see a moving vlog or like how to rent in jamaica type of video thank you so much for watching make sure you check out my other videos um, make sure to also follow me on instagram at anika tony underscore i've been trying to grow on there so i've actually been pretty consistent like with reels basically i love posting reels i like making videos if you never if you never get that but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate the subscribers that came back. Just let me know if you subscribed already. Love y'all. <laughs>
somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Call back, call back It's all good, it's all good It's all good, it's all good